What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now today we're going to be checking out some Battlefield 2042 gameplay and as we all know I don't really mess around with the infantry right now so we're going to be rocking the Nightbird actually and I gotta say this thing is tons of fun. It's put down as a transport vehicle but let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> it's anything but a transport vehicle. This thing absolutely slaps. And to be honest with you guys, don't mess around with any of the weapons on it. I promise you, the minigun and the secondary rockets are just the way to go. Because if you change the primary around, it becomes a little too difficult to actually take out air vehicles. I think the minigun is just perfect to take out other helicopters or even jets. Once you put on those mini rockets or whatever the primary, the second primary is... It becomes a little difficult to actually land shots. You have to lead a lot. So, personally, I think you should just go with secondary rockets and just, you know, shred the infantry and then keep the minigun as a primary to actually take out other air vehicles. But in this footage right here, I actually did mess around with it, and I'm using the settings that I just told you guys not to use. And it's actually pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's much better to actually take out, you know, ground vehicles like tanks and stuff like that. But I do run into a little trouble taking out infantry here and there. But, like I said, it's just my opinion on how I like to run the Nightbird. Let me know down in the comment section on what your guys' setup is for this thing because I know a lot of people out there are flying in this game and are like me where they don't want to mess around with any weapons in this game. But talking about weapons, apparently we're not going to have to worry about this anymore. DICE just put out a massive list of fixes that are going to be coming out into the game on the 25th of this month. So uh, what? I'm recording this on the 23rd because I always record my videos the day before. So for right now, a couple of days, but basically by the time this video goes live, tomorrow there's going to be a massive update for 2042, which will have a massive, a massive weapon balancing patch. And I cannot wait. This has been desperately needed since the beginning of this game. And I'm honestly, I was salty as hell. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was so freaking salty that it took this long for them to implement it into the game. I truly just wanted to be, you know, a hot fix. They should have done it instantly ignored everything else that needed to be fixed and just fixed the weapons right off the bat because i mean yes let's be honest here bugs glitches performance they're all in this game and they're all god awful but when the weapons don't shoot connect or work and there's only 22 guns in the game it just takes away from all the variety and makes it the most boring bare bone experience in the whole world so this was drastically needed but if you could just take a couple of seconds to actually look at the sheet here i'm going to go over everything that's going to be happening to the weapons in battlefield 2042 now they're going to separate it into two updates update three is going to be coming out i believe early to mid december and update two is when i just said the 25th of this month so on the 25th what we're going to be seeing is reduced spread globally when zoomed and moving improved stationary zoomed accuracy for many weapons Weapons. Spread now decreased faster and earlier when pacing shots. This means more success with single fire or short bursts. Increased the PP29 vertical recoil to ensure that the weapon does not overperform when engaging outside of its intended combat range. And then when we move over to update 3, it's not really as serious as update 2. It's a little bit smaller, but still, there's some decent stuff here. Fixed an issue where spread would be too high when trying to fire while zoomed right after sprinting for some portal weapons. And reduced effectiveness of the NTW50 against vehicles. Now, there are some other extremely important things I want to cover with you guys in just a few minutes here that are going to be coming out in the first update on the 25th, but I do want to go a little bit more in detail on these weapon adjustments because like I said, this was extremely serious for me. This was definitely in the top three things I wanted to see fixed right away, like right on launch. I wanted this to be already resolved and this is one of them. So I am extremely happy to see that DICE is finally acknowledging it. And like I said, I was so worried about this because when they first addressed this, they said it's no set time that they have for it. Everything else that they talked about, they had a set time for besides the weapon tuning and it scared the hell out of me because i was thinking what the hell is going to go on are they going to fix it in a week a month a year like what are they going to actually fix it but it's going to be the very first update i'm so happy about that but yeah everything is being resolved when you're standing stationary your shots will actually connect for once in your life because obviously as we all know if you lay prone your aim is better when you stand still your aim is better compared to when you're moving around standing up or something of that sort so that's really good to see and also they reduced the spread or bloom as we all call it when zoomed and moving this was the most crucial thing of everything that went wrong with the ars even the stationary all this stuff all the stationary moving all of it the bloom was disgusting Disgusting while trying to engage with people with assault rifles. So it's fantastic to see that they finally addressed this. And also, a little bit more into the notes, DICE actually did say with their own words that they know the assault rifle class, all the assault rifle weapons, have the most problems. So they're very clear with that, which makes me even more happy. They're not just talking about like SMGs here, you know, like, oh, we only fix the bloom on SMGs when you move instead of the weapons that actually need it. So, yes, this is around the weapons that are really messed up so far. And also, I'm kind of shocked because I didn't know that this specific thing was really 
really that bad, but apparently even when you're tap firing, the spread is stupid. You know how like in Fortnite or any other third person shooter, for example, when you shoot the, uh, you know, the hip fire area spreads, you know what I'm saying, and then it has to shrink back down, and that's when you know you can shoot again for it to be accurate, so people learned how to tap fire in Fortnite because, you know, they'll shoot, let the balloon, you know, shrink, shoot again, shrink, shoot again, you know, and you'll figure out that pattern. Well, in Battlefield 2042, it took five years for <laughs> the balloon to shrink back down when you're tap firing so even if you thought that you're tap firing at a perfect rate slower than the dmrs could be tap firing it still wouldn't be shrunk down enough to have your next shot be accurate and on point horrible but right here they're fixing it thank god i am a little disappointed though that they're increasing the pp29's vertical recoil i think that gun is pretty fun and honestly it's another one of those situations i've always said they should have worked the other weapons around this one you don't want to nerf weapons and then make them completely unusable because then they're boring then you're not going to touch them and then other weapons will eventually rise up and outshine them and then a new meta will be formed but when all the weapons are very viable like vanguard for example call of duty vanguard i have a major issue when it comes to time to kill problems in that game but all the weapons are usable if you take the time to grind those guns each and every gun in that game is freaking insane if they just changed the time to kill in that game <laughs> and made it like here like battlefield 24 or even like call of duty world war ii uh anything any of the older school call of duty titles the game would be so much more better and be filled with variety but we're not talking about call of duty in this video we're talking about battlefield as i was saying it would be perfect if they just bounced the other weapons around the pp29 kind of like how it was in the beta and the beta all the guns were insane truly the ak the m5 the vector the first smg that you get and i keep forgetting the name of it the lmg was fire the dmr DMR was eh, semi-good, it wasn't that amazing, and it still isn't that amazing in this build as well, so the DMRs are still a little iffy, but as I was saying, all the guns were pretty much viable, and then out of nowhere, all the assault rifles are garbage now, and I don't even know if fixing the bloom will fix the M5, like the M5 is just a weak gun now, even when your shots do connect, it takes so many bullets to kill someone, they just really made the weapons weird, so... I hope that this isn't going to affect the PP29 too much because I think the gun is fun and usable. And honestly, I use the MP9 more than the PP29. I love that weapon. I think it's much better, even though it doesn't have as much damage. I just really like it. It's it's fun. So I just think it's going to be another one of those situations where DICE is listening to, you know, people screaming meta instead of actually pushing up all the other guns around the ones that are already viable. And also, I am a tad bit disappointed about the NTW50. I want that sniper really bad, <laughs> and they're already patching it, so that's going to kind of suck, but that's coming out in December, so we still have a little bit more time, but honestly, it doesn't even seem like that sniper's even that viable against infantry. Uh, the second sniper that you unlock has a lot better range and accuracy than the NTW-50. It seems like the only purpose for the NTW-50 is, obviously, against vehicles, which is what it's designed around, but if they're just going to nerf that down, then that kind of defeats the whole purpose of using the sniper, you know? Nobody's really going to put the sniper on if they're going to want to snipe out infantry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They'll just use the second sniper so the only purpose of this rifle is to take out vehicles and i think it's what four shots for a tank which i think is pretty fair to be honest with you because if it takes a little while to chamber in each shot tanks can probably escape and get out of there but 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 i don't know this yet i haven't really played too much play time with this weapon i don't even have it unlocked so if anybody out there has played with this weapon please go down in the comment section and give us your knowledge on how this weapon works do you personally think that this nerf to this weapon is needed or do you think it's pointless like the one with the pp29 and i don't want to keep saying that the pp29 nerf is bad because honestly the gun is pretty cracked i mean <laughs> you can pretty much cross map a sniper rifle with this thing uh I, I guess maybe i'm being a little too hard on it but i don't think vertical recoil should be the first thing that they're doing to it maybe like effective damage range or something like that but vertical recoil uh, nah, 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 I think it's perfectly fine without it, like I said, the MP9 has no recoil, so <laughs> I don't see the problem here, I think it's pretty balanced, but as promised, I'm gonna talk about the other bit of information here, I do apologize, I rambled on a little too much there, but god, I'm just so happy to see the weapons might possibly be more playable, we're gonna see on the 25th, if you guys wanna check that out, I'm gonna be live streaming the whole update, along with live streaming Halo today as well, I'm gonna be checking out all the new free battle passes to see if they're actually good or not, and probably gonna make a commentary about that tomorrow so if you guys want to be a part of that the link to my twitch channel is down in the description but the last part of news here i'm actually going to just put up the tweet and read it off ea dice is carefully evaluating community's desire to see legacy features return end of match scoreboard server browser all out warfare thank god and voice chat they'll share details about their long-term vision for certain features and functions when they have things they can show us i pray to god when they say end of match scoreboard they're just talking about adding in a whole different scoreboard in general not just the end of the match i don't care i don't want to see the end of the match i want to see the whole match please dice give us a scoreboard i hate this scoreboard with all of my heart 
I can't tell as an individual player how I'm playing against the rest of the team and also the enemies. And also, a server browser in All Out Warfare is drastically needed. I can't find a good connection for the life of me when I party up with the other individuals. When I play solo, it's a little bit better, but Battlefield isn't about solo play. You know, it's about playing with friends. So we want to find the best server for all of us, and being able to see the exact ping of each lobby is very crucial for a perfect experience for each and every player. And also, I can't tell you how many times I have to repeat playing the same exact map. The rotation sucks. When you have a server browser, it's a certain set amount of maps, or even, you know, a voting system, a veto system to even choose what map you want to play. And the longer you stay in that server, the more you'll actually be able to play, instead of being kicked out after every single game because there is no server browser, having to refind a lobby just to be put back into the same exact map over and over and over again and along with the voice chat they're adding in voice chat finally again another feature i just was talking about team play and playing with friends but if you're playing cross play since you know obviously discord isn't really that easy to use on all consoles you just got to go without talking to your friends and communicating right now <laughs> which kills the whole purpose of the game there's so many things that didn't come at launch that make no logical sense i can't believe they launched the game like that but at least they're fixing it. I'm still mad that they didn't fix it right away. That should have been in the initial build of the game, but whatever. I'm not going to complain that much. I've been complaining a lot about Battlefield recently. It feels really good to finally have something positive to talk about. It's really, really nice. But again, they're not going to really share too much about this until they actually have stuff to show us. So don't be expecting too much more information about server browser, voice chat, or even the scoreboard system right now until they actually have it completely down and ready to put into the game and then we'll finally be able to see it and see what's going on fingers crossed it'll be something decent but ladies and gentlemen so far this update is looking pretty solid like i said i'm going to stream it all day when it comes out and i'm going to give it a shot let's hope for the best of the best when it comes to 2042 because this game needs a lot of work right now so let's really hope that this will do it but ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for tuning into this video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like bones i hate it leave a dislike also if you're brand new and enjoy the content don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button also if you want to chat me there's two ways to do so i have a twitter and a discord both those links are down in the description and also if you want to catch me live streaming some video games i do over on twitch link that's in the description as well but guys thanks so much for tuning in see you all next one peace out